am Owen Davis and I am a design engineer. I did a advanced engineering diploma at college. It kind of pulls together different factions of engineering and maths and science and pulls it all together as one diploma rather than doing sort of three or four different A levels. Then went on to university where I did automotive and motorsport engineering and then started as a graduate at uh, CCM Motorcycles. Yeah, so I actually was aiming at automotive in terms of cars rather than motorbikes because growing up massively into bicycles like mountain biking, BMXing, everything always wanted a motorbike never allowed one so that kind of pushed me in the direction of cars so that's why I went and did the automotive motorsport engineering degree but uh, then this opportunity popped up and we sort of just went from there <laughs> Kind of the good thing about it is that there isn't a regular routine day. So it can be sat at a computer all day designing bikes, or I can be in a workshop building a bike, or I can even be out riding a bike. So it's quite nice to not have a routine. <laughs> Suppose a good way of measuring the success is how well it's received by customers and how quickly they do sell out. So say the, the first model that we did in kind of current range sold out in a week. <laughs> so 150 bikes just gone instantly, which kind of validates everything you've done there. It's not all my doing. There's, there's other people that are, that are helping me along there, but, but yeah, it, it feels good that it is largely your own work. <laughs> I guess in engineering, the word failure, quite literally, it, it kind of revolves around it because parts fail and you're constantly learning from that. So you, you, you're constantly finding the weaknesses of the bikes, redeveloping things. Um, and then in a less literal sense, I guess the failures are when the uptake of sales isn't quite as you hoped it was. And you have to look at what elements of that design might be causing that. Technological advancements have a huge part in it. Uh, as with all transport at the moment, there's a very, a very large shift towards electrification. So at the moment, we don't offer electric vehicles, but I think soon everybody's gonna have to. You're gonna have no option. And then in the day-to-day -day job as well, the technology, the, the CAD systems that you use, all that side of things, that's constantly evolving as well. Yeah, definitely, because I would say that if I didn't have an interest in it, I wouldn't be doing what I'm doing. And it, it's, it is largely almost a hobby rather than a job. <laughs> 